And Terry, 31 Warriors points on 21 turnovers. What did you see happening there? Well, we struggled with turnovers the whole the whole game. Obviously, even more so in the first half. I think we had 13 at half. So, um, you know, they were aggressive. Um, we made some uh, made some poor decisions, but I thought they were really aggressive on the ball. Uh, they got deflections, and you know, 31. I don't know how many of them were transition, but you know, that was. We never really got on track offensively. You know, we didn't shoot the ball particularly well. We had turnovers. Um, you know, we didn't finish well when we had our offensive rebounds. So, I mean, it was um, it was a tough night offensively. Dwight James, NBC Sports Northwest. Terry, what about you? Said a bad night offensively. It couldn't have been a real good night defensively either, was it? What about the pick and roll coverage on Curry? Well, to be honest, other than the fourth quarter, uh, you know, the game defensively was manageable. Uh, they got loose in the fourth quarter, but and what had 39 in the fourth quarter. But going into the fourth quarter, down six, um, you know, we we're finding ways to hang in on a night that we we're struggling offensively. So. Uh, certainly, they got they got loose. Uh, I, it's a combination of how well they move without the ball and pick and rolls. I mean, uh, Curry and Thompson move well without the ball. Uh, I'm sure pick and rolls were part of it, but uh, it's also their movement and transition. Anthony Slater with the Athletic. Um, you know, Houston uh, had some success. You know, trapping Steph and really getting out on him. Uh, is this a th sustainable for you guys to keep dropping the big so far? Did they? Uh, I can't remember Did they, when he had 33 in the second half. Were they trapping then? Yes. They were, and he scored 33 in the second half. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll look at that. I, before the game, you had said that obviously NBA players are resilient. How much, though, did you see the effects of Game 7 on Sunday maybe come into play tonight? Oh, I, you know, it's it's possible that, uh, you know, having played a, a, a tough emotional game two nights ago, that could play into it, but I don't think anybody will use that as an excuse. Tim McMahon, ESPN. Terry, what kept you guys from getting going offensively, and, and how can you change that? Well, we'll look. Uh, I know it's cliche, but we'll watch the game film and and see what they did. I know they gave uh, Dame a lot of attention. They clogged the paint. Um, we didn't finish the opportunities when we did have them. Um, so when you turn the ball over and don't shoot the ball well and don't finish around the basket well, that's you know we got to look for other things. But you know, hopefully it's just one game. But that's uh, that's why it's not a one done. You know, we got a series. It's one loss. We got uh, we got to play better. Uh, particularly at the offensive end, but you know we got to be better at both ends. Coach Bruce McGowan with uh, KCBS uh, Radio San Francisco. Uh, you guys, you know, managed to, to hang in there despite shooting poorly and despite the fact that you know your your number one or number two guys didn't have great nights. Did that give you a feeling of encouragement that you can hang with these guys? I really did. Uh, each quarter, we you know we felt like it was going to break. You know that um, you know. Whatever was was happening, we were still hanging around, and uh, so we were encouraged by that. And then, obviously, they broke loose in the in the fourth quarter. But you know, down six, down six, going to the fourth, um, there were some things to be encouraged about. So uh, you know, we'll bounce back and and see what we can do better. All right, thank you.